My name is Gail McDonald, and I'm giving you an opportunity today to donate your $500 and actually have it be worth $3,500 to $5,000. And the way that you could do that is by donating to the Wesley Food Pantry. Now, I know when you think about food pantry, you think about people that are hungry, of course, and that is definitely something that the food pantry provides, food. But I want to step back a little bit and tell you a little bit about why the food, Wesley Food Pantry is so important in our community. Um, you may not be aware of this, but one in four students here at Parkland experience something called food insecurity. That would be about four students sitting in a classroom this size. And food insecurity leads to things like lack of concentration, fatigue, anxiety, which make it difficult for our future leaders to study. So it's an important thing that we provide food to students who may need food to be able to be the students that they should be. And it's not just students, but it's also the, the issue of hunger. Hunger is not typically a problem that we think about in an era of Weight Watchers and Ginny Craig, etc., but it is still a problem. Across the state of Illinois, 11% of households, according to the USDA, experience food insecurity on a monthly basis. And here in Champaign County, which is actually the fourth highest poverty rate rated county in Illinois, 20% of people live below the poverty level, and 16.5% of the population here in Cham Champaign County experience food insecurity on a monthly basis or each month. So food insecurity, as I mentioned, is something that would lead to uh, lack of concentration, et cetera. And so it's not just for students, but it's also across the county in general. What we're trying to do is understand that Food insecurity is an inability to be able to provide food for yourself, either because of lack of finances or lack of ability to get that food. Typically, the ways that a, a person experiences it is there may have been a large car repair expense. And these, this information came from Katie Thomas, who was the executive director of the Wesley Food Pantry. She gave an interview on WPCD l this year, and she said, said things like this are very common reasons why a person would experience food insecurity a large car repair expense, a broken water heater, or a broken furnace during the winter, or a large medical bill can completely throw off a person's budget and may lead them to not have enough money to get the basic uh, food needs for their family. So what can we do about food insecurity? You can donate $500 to the Wesley Food Pantry. And it will affect many different segments of our community. I've spoken about students here at Parkland College, but the Wesley Food Pantry actually serves not just Parkland, but the university and Champaign County as a whole. According to a report from the Illinois Commission to End Hunger, 40,000 veterans in the state of Illinois live below the poverty level. And there are veterans, of course, here in Champaign County, too. And 34% of households with an adult member who, is a, who has a disability also experience food insecurity. And that was based on a report done in 2015. So by, by providing food and by providing the $500 to the Wesley Food Pantry, you'll also be able to serve our veterans and our disabled persons in our community. And once again, it affects our students students here at Parkland College in particular, because here at Parkland College, the Wesley Food Pantry has set a completely separate food pantry for Parkland College students and community. So they've reached out to us, and it would be an advantage for us to reach back to them and provide the $500, or really the $3,500 to $5,000 uh, worth of um, food that they would be able to help our community. Um, we think of college life, we think of a student learning new things, meeting new people, expanding their horizons, achieving a degree to lead to a better future. But the reality of college life is that there are rising costs of education, rising costs of living, rising costs of health care, and many students are non-traditional students. There are either students who are going to school part-time, students who are working full-time, students here at Parkland College who do not have a high school degree, students who are single parents, and also students that are financially independent, meaning they do not receive any additional support to be able to go to school. So by providing money to the Wesley Food Pantry, you're able to meet their short-term needs, maybe, in providing for them to be able to have a positive college experience and to continue their studies here in, in, at Parkland College. And as we move into summer, there's something about children children actually are going to be leaving school and so some of our students who are parents 
will experience a rise in childcare costs also. So the $500 donation would be timely to be able to provide more support at a time that's more critical for providing food in the Champaign community. And we know that good nutrition is vital for the developing minds of children. An early childhood longitudinal study um, conducted by the family, um, the ed Educational Testing Service, stated that students from less food secure homes scored lower at the beginning of kindergarten, the kindergarten year, than other children. And they learned less over the entire year. So by providing to the, the Wesley Food Pantry, you'd not only be providing food, but something else that the Wesley Food Pantry provi provides they actually provide books. For the children that do participate in the Wesley Food Pantry and, and go to the Wesley Food Pantry with their parents, the Wesley Food Pantry provides a single book or two books to every child that comes in. So, and studies have also shown that there is a, a benefit long term in the reading skills of students that actually have books in the home. So that's another added benefit in addition to the food that's provided by the Wesley Food Pantry. So let me give you some more benefits that your $500 would provide to our community. First of all, the pantry is open. It's the first pantry that was able to open after hours. Typically, we think of a pantry as opening between 8 and 5. But this one was open after hours because they're meeting the needs of working parents, parents that actually do have jobs that still need help fighting food insecurity. And the money directly serves our community. As I said, there was a Parkland Food Pantry. There is also the Wesley Food Pantry, which serves students at the University of Illinois. And both of them ser serve everyone in the community and not restricted to students only. It serves our elderly and anyone needing help with food. And they are officially a USDA commodity pantry since 2014 here at Parkland. So they were able to serve um, elder elderly people also. It is an efficient organization. They have a very small paid staff combined with numerous volunteers, including students and other members of the community, which provide those students and other people an opportunity in, to enhance their leadership skills and social justice training. And also they serve an average of 1,500 people per month, a large segment of our community. They also have a choice model pantry. And what that means is that the people who come in to, to use the pantry are able to choose the food that they need. And that gets, reserves, it preserves the dignity of those who are coming for the need of food. Um, in addition, they provide social service and health information to the families. And as I mentioned, the books are, are very critical to provide to the children. They distri distribute over 200 children's books per month. And according to the Educational Testing Service, more types of reading materials that are in the home lead to higher students with reading proficiency. So that's another benefit of the $500 donation. So join me in alleviating food insecurity in our community and the Champaign community and helping our future leaders, including our children, by donating $500 to the Wesley Food Pantry. Thank you very much.